Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. That way they can still run out and they'll use that side, they won't use this bit. And I mean, I, I guess the only other one would be to put a signal there. And then I've got separate blocks and I've got a separate block in here. So that that doesn't get uh, choked up. But I think we can leave it without doing anything to that one. So we'll leave it like that. So you come up this way, which means that I want a signal going there. In case I have a train coming up through. And then I want a signal going there for that one there. Right. I think I've got it right. I hope I've got it right. Let's go on to fast speed again. So that one is now moving out. Lil Scut is on her way, heading up that way. And then we've got Glenn Fiddick down here. He's running in through the station. There he goes. Comes out onto the new track that he's going to be using. And he stops right there to wait for Lil Scut. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to put... Extra bits. I'm going to put extra signals all along the track like this to make way for the other trains. And I think I should put some crossovers on as well so that it allows them to run between the station easier. If it will make a difference to them, but uh, I'm hoping it will. So I put you there, and I put a signal that way and that way. Like that. And then I've got a signal there that comes out of the station. And so then I'm going to want to put some extra ones in over here. So I put one there and uh, one there. And I come on a little bit further, and I put in another block. Like that. This allows the trains then to run a little bit... Um, more closely to each other, doesn't it? That's all we're doing here. Is I'm just allowing these trains to run that much closer to the back of the previous train. So it's nothing special. There's nothing particularly scientific on this one. And that one there. And I'll do another one there and there like that. And crossovers again. I think... Extra crossovers wouldn't hurt. I will do a crossover over this side. We've gone whizzing in there. So I will do one right there like that. And I will do another one right there like that. And then put a light there and a light there. I've, that, that'll do for now. We, we won't do any more messing. I've got a crossover back over this side. That, I think, will do for now. So, I've now got trains running between them all. You've just moved in here. Glenn Fiddick has got zero of 96 of anything on board. I've got nothing at the station just yet. Got nothing in there. So, now I'm hoping that by having this loop, I've got tools over here. There, Lil Scut is coming in, and she is loading up with tools. Right. Well, I've delivered one lot already. She's all loaded up. This station here, i got nothing on there. This one up here, I've got 19 tools right there, and I've got steel as well. Glenn Fiddick has got 48 tools on board. Lil Scut is racing down. She's also got 48 tools on board. She needs to be able to get some of the steel right there. The timber, I'm already running the timber backwards and forwards from here. That's going straight up here onto that one. So I've got that line right there. I've got Mr. Lubber Lubber right there. He's able to take some tools. Lil Scut here is not take... Why aren't you taking that? That's connected into there. That's connected into the steel mill. Oh, no, that should work. You should come in round here. You should bring the steel in onto that one and you should stop there. 
You're already running back with some planks and steel. Wait a minute. Oh, my bad. I I did I did the wrong trains. Right. What I got to do then is I need to go. Let's just pause this. I've done the wrong trains. Okay. How many of you noticed that before I did? You could have told me. Right. Edit selected vehicle. Gondola. I got a gondola. I don't want the gondola. I want the flat car with the side stakes. That's what I need. I need it on all of them. I've got to go and change all of these. Um, right. So I do that right there. And then I will buy eight of those. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight right there. Modify that one. Right. And I can't just clone. So I will go to you. Edit. And do that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Modify. Right. There's that one done. And then we can go to this line and we will do exactly the same. Uh, I don't know. Can I do that and then edit selected? Well, I can do it like this. So, I want to remove those eight right there. Like that. I like how you can change, chop and change the carriages between any of them. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then here, I want to do the same like that. Now, I don't have to count them because I can just do it same as the one above. Right. There. Modify all of those and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to color those in so that we've got the stake cars the same the Color that they should all be and then we will go and we will have a little look at little scut down here I want to bring you around over there. I want to have a look at these stake cars, right? Uh Oh, that's as low as I can take it. I, I can't go any lower than that. The only other way that I can do this is if I go like this. Right? I go like that. And then I have to bring that one all the way back like this. Virginia Truckee. And there is the state cars. See? Look at that. Don't they look fantastic? That's the state cars right there, but I don't want that view. I want to then go to here. And we're away with a whoosh. Right. Who now am I going to be following? I got kind of up there, kind of just left the station a little bit too late. But now I've already got timber being loaded up on there. I've already got planks being loaded up. We've got a huge quantity of tools being brought in. And here comes Mr. Lubber Lubber right there. So we're going to follow him. He is the one. He's got 22 at the moment of stakes on board. I'm going to follow him right in here. Oh, yes. Look at that. Okay, that train looks very cool. And there goes the one going the other way. So our, our tracks are working as they should. I love the way that the wheels sort of, like, go with the track. Underneath, like, any undulations in the track, that does actually look really, really awesome. Bring you out a little bit. There. And, like, the way it moves with the tracks as well, that, 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 it does look very, very cool. Right. He's off again, and before he gets there, True God Howard, he's got wooden planks as well. He, he's not got what I'm after. Uh, so I'm up here. Lil Scut, there she is. Lil Scut is bringing up the lead. She has got everything that we're going to need now. Look at this. The new Mexico there run down along the side it like this but you you can see right there we've got everything that we need there's all of the steel um steel plates that's what we want not steel plates steel bars 
What is it? It's just, it's just steel. It just says steel. Um, uh, steel plates, steel bars. Um, I spend a lot of time playing Factorio. You'd never notice, would you? But that's what we're after. We just need those couple of little bits there. Designing airplane prototypes. I've got those two. Flying Ace. Deliver steel and tools to the hospital. Now, that's the next bit, is whether or not it is delivering steel and tools to the hospital. Thor, over here. You're the next one. Come here. I did change that. There, right. He can take steel and he can take tools. So, eventually, I'm hoping that that line will start swapping th some things over. It will put some steel and tools onto that line right there, and uh, everything will be swapped over. But True God Howard is going to bring in this line here. So, we've got three of them running around there in a loop, and then we've got two trains running backwards and forwards on this track, and then i got one train running backwards and forwards on this track, except that's why he's not stopping there, is he? Right. That one's about to bring in the one I want. But that is why Thor is not picking up the stuff. Because his track, line three, isn't stopping here at this one. And I need it to stop here at this one in order to be able to make that work. So let's go to manage line down here. Santa Barbara transfer, add station there. Like that. The Santa Barbara station. And that's perfect. That's all we need to do. Just need to leave it like that. Right. And then let that one run. I click on here. He should start putting some stuff in, like he'll bring that in there. I reckon all Due of that to will unfortunate in there. circumstances. The orders placed by the army were unable to be completed. As a penalty, Congress has now ordered your boss to fly the lawmakers around for free. Transport 10 people by airplane between the airfield in Santa Barbara and San Francisco airfield free of charge. During this task, passengers on this route don't generate any income. Santa Barbara and San Francisco Airfield. Santa Barbara and San Francisco. Oh, I've got to put in a new route for this. Right, well, I will... Let's just slow you down a minute. And also, I want to have a look here. Are you bringing anything in to go onto that one? Um, no, we're going to need it now to start placing some of those items onto there so that Thor will carry them between the two. I don't know if he's going to or not. Because he's also bringing a whole load of this down. We'll have to... We'll, we'll wait and see a minute. Um, I need to build a new line then, don't I? I've got one line there, and I've got one line there. I want a direct route, new line, going between Santa Barbara and San Francisco. So there's going to be a straight loop that will run between those two right there. I will go to the Santa Barbara airfield, buy vehicles. I'm going to buy two Douglas DC-3s. I think we will just go for the two. And let me give them some names a second. Michael Burke and P.O. Johansson are going to go onto this line. And I'm going to paint them as well. I'm going to give them a nice purple coat like that. And then they're going to go onto line 10. Like that. Let's go and have a look at these noisy contraptions. Those actually look quite cool in the purple as well. Like sometimes the colours seem a little bit overdone. And then other times they don't, they, they actually work out really nicely and it looks really, really awesome. This is one of the times where the colour actually looks pretty good. It is rather noisy, let's, let's speed that up a little bit, shall we? No passengers at the moment. So i got to wait a minute for passengers. And then you're going to come out over here. Right, let's do that. And we are away! Look at us go! Fantastic! The speed's really kicking in now. This, this is where the advantage of the 300k really does help. Right, that, that really does make a difference. Right, anyway, uh, I don't need to worry about those. They are now doing what we want them to do. I've then got over here one little bit of booze waiting at this station. 
Line 3 now has some steel waiting for the San Francisco train station. Plus, I've also got some alcohol sat at the station. I don't know why I've got alcohol sat at the station. Uh, Thor is going to come in here, and he's picked up some alcohol, and he's got some steel to take on in this way. Which is going to stop right there at the San Francisco line, and then that's going to end up going here. Now, I've got 126 booze waiting on line 4 right there. And then in this one comes, and that one's going to go line 4 as well. Now, I've got stuff being lost off of here. So what I want to do is I want to move line 4 off there, and I want to put it onto one of them. So I will go configure like this. No. That's not the configurations that I want to do. Terminals, that's what I want. There, look. Um... Five, line four, on four, uh, six, seven. I want seven down over there. Right, and it's line four. I want you to go on to line seven. Oh, no, you can go on to line six. There, move you back one. A little bit more space on there, that's all. Just, just allowing it to have a little bit more room. So now overview... He's got that extra little bit on there. Not that it really needs it, I don't think, but we are making a nice bit of money out of all that booze. I don't think there's any great hardship in doing that. Now, Thor is on his way back in again. I can never actually click on him. There we go. Right, this time he's got some machine parts. And he's got steel, and then he's got lots more booze. Fortunately, I didn't have enough room for all of the machine parts, and they've fallen off the end of the line. Is there a way to limit the amount of booze that is carried? That's what I want to do now. So I want to find out, is there a way to actually limit what I can put through? Los Angeles over here, shipment, rule. I'm clicking on these and I'm not seeing anything clicked. Consumers. No, charts. That's what I'd like to be able to do, is I'd like to be able to limit the amount of booze that I'm running between these lines. I mean, the only other thing I can do is I can add more trucks in onto line 4 down here. So that I can keep more of this moving. So if I say line 4, get more of that going. That might be a way to do it. Let's go here a second. Let's slow you down a little bit, just just to begin with, and then I want to go there. What does that do? That's the cargo layer. No, I want to I want to see where goods are demanded. It's not telling me. I mean, if I click on the different buildings, it tells me nothing. Track speeds. Residential. Commercial building in there. That's, that's not telling me anything either. Industrial building. Residential. Get rid of that. Cargo layer. Industrial. That's not telling me anything either. All I've got is Mr. Hughes Hotel right there, which is demanding those materials. But it's not telling me anything else about the place. It's not giving me the list of consumer. I mean, maybe I'm not actually consuming stuff, or maybe it's done differently in this one than it was in the last one. But you used to be able to see all of the stuff that was being consumed, couldn't you? Terminals, charts. Mill Street. Um, line four. Yeah. James Brownie. I've got six of eight there. He's bringing them up to that one, and he's unloading six of eight. He's dumping them all in front of the hotel there. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Right, well, well, we'll rush things along. I know that the whole flying ace thing... 
I'm going to be getting the machinery and the steel is now being brought in. I've, I've got that being brought in. But it's whether I should have some more vehicles on. I've, I've only got five on there. All right, let's add some more. I'll add in another five. I'll pause that a minute. Manage vehicles right there. So I will go like that and I will clone selected vehicles. So we'll bring those down in there like that and I'll give them all some names. All right, I got Michael B, Techline, Tyree, Windwalker and Jamie are the new ones on this line. So they're now all on line four. I've now got 10 vehicles on line four, which I'm hoping is going to just rush things along a little bit. We get a little bit more of the booze flowing out on this line. That's what I'd like. And there's the five new vehicles coming in. They're going up round there. They're running in through the bus depot. And then they'll go and pick up a whole load of stuff in here. So I've got 41 steel. 17 tools right there. What are you all picking up? Michael B is coming up and he's loading up the booze. Jamie is coming in and he's loading up the booze. Windwalker is coming in and is loading up the booze. Tech Lime is coming in and he's loading up the booze. I'm sensing a recurring theme here. And loading up the booze. And Golem 98. What are you loading up with? You're loading up with booze as well. Everybody's loading up with booze. I need you to run out and do the other stuff. Right, just some of you load up with something other than booze, please. Shmuel the gamer. Oh, you're you're no good, you're on a different line. What about uh, Evo 8? Evo 8 is going to come in. Evo 8 is going to be the one that I want. They're going to come in through. They're going to load up with the right... Nope, they're loading up the booze. What is with this town? What is with like, Los Angeles? You're nothing but a bunch of drunks. The entire city of Los Angeles is nothing but a city of drunks. It's the only conclusion that I can draw because they're not bringing anything else in here. Okay, James Brownlee, you are going to move more booze. Uh, well, if I just brought in here, what did, what did you bring in? You brought in more booze. I had 124 booze. Still shifting. You know what? I'm going to add in another 10 vehicles. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add in 10 more vehicles. I'm going to pause that a second, like that. I'm going to go to line 4. Manage line, like this. No. Vehicles. And... I will select all of them, and then I will clone selected vehicles. So now I've got 20 vehicles on this line. Hopefully that will be enough to start moving something other than booze. We've now also got Charles, Dante, Juice MS, Ivelios, uh, Jamie O'Connell, Miss Pelt, Nigel Pipe, Patrick, Tonza, and Zorta777. Coming on to line four. All of them. Right. So they will all come pouring out over there, and then they will all run down, and they should hopefully go and load up a whole load of something other than booze. That's what I'm really hoping, is that we start shifting something other than booze. So I'm going to click on the Los Angeles exchange right here, and we're going to keep an eye on these numbers over here. Right. 91. Have I just had this train station change uh, you loaded up with booze yeah, a whole load of people trying to get across the street over here there we go right Tyree booze golem 98 booze Dante is taking steel excellent Tonza booze Zorta triple seven steel fantastic juice MS booze Charles is taking steel. Ivelios is taking booze. Jamie O'Connell is booze. Uh, Nigel Pipe is also booze. Miss Pelt is booze. <laughs> and we got some steel from Patrick. 
Jaybird is Booze again. Evo 8 is Steel. James Brownlee in there is Booze. And James Newton at the back is Tools. Tools, that's the one. That is the one. It's James Brown. J James Newton, sorry. James Newton is the one. He's the dude that we need to follow. He's the only one that's taken tools so far, I think. I've managed to move four passengers up there. Don't unload any tools yet. It looks like the only place that you can actually put the booze and stuff is up there. Why is he... Oh, he's, he's stopping at traffic lights. That's why. All right, on he goes. He's changed lanes, and then he's heading up here. Now he's waiting right there. I've got a truck stop there. That one, they're unloading booze there by the look of it. The automatically Done. adjustable bed promises relief for a multitude of afflictions. Meanwhile, Mr. Hughes has already left the hospital. Okay. Mr. Hughes has left the hospital. Transport passengers, 9 of 10. I've got one more passenger to move from the Santa Barbara on line 10. There's three there. Whether there's, uh, he's just moving in. P.O. Johansson. He's got one person coming out this way. Uh, line 10. Michael Burke has got three passengers on board. He's coming back this way. He's coming in. He's coming in to land. Now, I'm curious if Michael Burke's three passengers going this way are going to be the right ones for that. Or not. They might be, they might not be. I'm, I'm not quite sure at the moment. We've got loads of stuff coming in with our new train track that we got over that side. Touchdown. Right there. It's going to taxi in off the runway and come into the Santa Barbara airfield. I've got a lot of passengers queued up waiting here. Most of them are wanting to go line one. There After we go. the unpleasant issue with Congress, Mr. Hughes has had enough of aircraft manufacturing for now. However, his passion for film has been rekindled, which made him promptly buy a production company. Help your boss shoot the greatest blockbuster of all time. Mr. Hughes's film studios have several sensational projects in the pipeline. Decorate the different film sets with the right props. I'm starting to think it's hard work catering to the whims of this bloke. Like, he's, he's, he's very fickle, isn't he? As soon as you, you start to get the hang of one thing, he then abandons it all and he, he's off on something else, some other wild harebrained scheme. Mr. Hughes is set on becoming the most famous film producer of all time. What's stopping him? The commie riffraff hanging around his studios. He has contracted you to put an end to the communist infiltration of Hollywood once and for all. Really? Communists now? Okay. The staff working on the set are on strike. What nerve. It's the poisoned ideology of those Ruskies that fills their heads with that kind of flim-flam. Show those people that they're still in good old America. Uh, what, by forcing them to work for um, an absolute pittance in very, very poor conditions? Yeah, why not? Let's, 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 get, to, let's get to it. Um, right. I've got a lot of things that we're going to need to do. I, I don't know what we're going to be asked to do next. Come on then, let's find out what we're going to do to beat all of these people into submission. Slow that down a bit a minute. And first the up, film about an enterprise... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea... If you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.